Photographers regard this particular time of the day as the best time to shoot with natural light. Well, I beg to differ, but I would say that I enjoy shooting it regardless. And because of that, I'm going to give you some tips in shooting during the sunset or during a golden hour of the day. Let's get right into it. The golden hour pertains to basically the tone of the sun when it's setting. So it gives you some warmth and it's very soothing and wrapping. All right. So if you're using this particular time of day to shoot your images, I would say that you have to be very fast because the sun sets real fast. You only have sometimes an hour or 45 minutes and sometimes a worst case scenario when the sun is setting real fast, you might have only 25 minutes to grab all the images that you need to get before things get wild and your white balance can't keep up with warmth no matter what you do to it. Let me quickly talk about my camera setup. I'm using the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. On top of it is the 85mm 1.4 and this is going to allow me to isolate my subject from the background because I shot almost every image during the shoot at an aperture of 1.4. All right. The environment I shot at has a correlation to what my subject was wearing as well as what she's holding in her hand. She has um, a prop, a sunflower prop. It's actually not natural <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I have it lying around the studio. So if uh, I need any time, I can just pick it up and I don't need to take care of the plant. I'm very bad at taking care of plants. So using a synthetic one will always get you what you need. And because it looks very hyper realistic, you can still get away with it. And in the environment that I was shooting, once again, I had a lot of trees and where the sun sets in this particular space is mostly perfect because you get a lot of shadows cast against the background I'm shooting against, all right? Depending on where the shadows are cast, you can compose them as part of the frame so that your image will look a little bit more better. And looking at this particular image, you notice that the sky is blue regardless of the fact that the sun is setting on the left, which is warm. I could arrive at this particular image because the light was coming from the left hand side and in my background, the sun wasn't there. And with its absence in that particular spot, I could still render the blues and I could salvage what was left of it. So I increased the intensity or the saturation of the blues a little bit during post-production to arrive at this particular image with a very clear blue sky. So recapping on the tips on shooting during the golden hour without any modifier, which I forgot to mention i didn't use any modifier it was just the sun you have to be mindful of the lens choice the shadows cast or your environment if you can use anything in front of the sun to you know compose in the frame as well as one thing i want to add is the angle that you shoot at because your lighting is static you can utilize changing angles to add a bit more professionalism to your images and basically that's how i got these images and they look so beautiful thank you very much for watching this video to the very end if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button so that anytime i upload a new video over here on my youtube channel you'll be the first to see it and to watch it until the next video have a wonderful day see ya